Hi, I'm Paul Meeks with Worthington Products, and in this short video, I'm going to introduce you to the Odin series of boom products by Worthington. So what is Odin series? What is Odin? Well, it's an HDPE barrier line, and we have different styles of barriers within that line, which is why we call it a series. And what makes it special is that Odin series is based on thick-walled co-extruded HDPE, and we're going to show you what that is. And then later in the video, I'm going to show you the difference between our Odin Boom and our Odin Float. So Odin Series has Odin Boom and Odin Float, and we'll explain the difference with co-extrusion. So let's talk about co-extrusion. That's the important thing about Odin Boom and Odin Floats, and that's what makes it different than any other HDP out there on the market. And I'm holding a sample of our Odin material, our Odin, we call it Odin Boom here, and basically it's a thick-walled HDPE material which is 32 millimeters thick or an inch and a quarter for those of us that speak Imperial. It has a HDPE inner layer and on the surface we have about a four millimeter thick co-extruded yellow layer. Now we have some other videos I encourage you to look to find out why yellow is important. It's the safest color out there, I think you'll appreciate that. But for this material, this is co-extruded. What that means is it's one material, but two colors. So this surface layer can never, ever peel, delaminate, bubble, separate. It's going to stay on there for the life of the boom. In fact, we're so confident of that that we actually guarantee it. Now, the other important thing about this is, is and this is what's important if you compare this to a fully colored pipe. In order to get the 50-year life out of this, we need to have carbon black in the material. Well, you can put resin additives in your color layer, but they don't last 50 years. Carbon black gives you the strength and it lasts for 50 plus years in the material. So that means that your material will not break down over time. It won't become brittle and it won't lose some of its properties. So that's what's important. And that's why a co-extruded material is so far superior than a solid thick walled material. That's why we go with co-extruded and we don't go with solid material. It's also why we don't go with a painted material because, well, everyone knows you can't paint HDPE. It just peels off. So let's go in. We know about co-extrusion. Let's go in and talk about the different types of Odin series booms that we have. The first is what we call Odin Boom. This is what some of you may already be familiar with. And I'm standing over here. We have an Odin Boom product right here. And basically, Odin Boom, it's a tubular style boom. We manufacture these. Our standard is a 24 inch diameter, for those of you in the metric world, 610 millimeters. And we make these in different lengths. We can offer these up to a 40 foot length. Now, our standards are either 12 feet, 20 feet, or 40 feet. And we have different ways of connecting these. So come on with me. I'm going to show you on one end. What makes Odin Boom unique is, we're going to come down here actually, I'm going to show you, is we have a flanged end on each boom. And here you see an example of our flanged end. And we, we fusion weld this to the boom. And so you can see the fusion line here. And this, this weld, by the way, is as strong as the material. <laughs> it's, sometimes some people say it's even stronger. So we have no issues with this if you're concerned that it might come off. And if you are concerned, hey, let us know. We'll show you the test data. So we have a flanged end on this style of Odin Boom. And on the end of it, we have different styles of end caps. In this case, we go flange end, and we're connecting into a heavy duty. This is an engineered steel end plate. And then we connect our booms with chain. Here we're showing a 26 millimeter diameter chain with a 12, 12 inch connection space in between units. But this connection space varies upon what you want. Okay. This is engineered. Why do we have all these bolts around here? Because we did studies, we did testing and everything else. And in order to get the proper load distribution, because these things go up to really high loads, we needed to have all these bolts on here. There's another special feature about these bolts and nuts. And I don't know if you can see this. We're gonna try and zoom in here. And on there, you can see what's called, it's a special ANCO nut. And what that is, is you see this little stainless steel tab there. That actually digs into the bolt threads as we're screwing this on, so these things can't back up. They're self-locking. This is a huge important feature because out on the water, things are happening. 
we also put a steel backing ring on this to make sure that we have proper load distribution. So on one end, we have a flange where we're connecting individual float units together. Typically, when we use these plates, we're going to use this on a 12-foot or a 20-foot length boom. It also makes it really easy to handle on site. Let's go down to the other end. Now here we have the same flange that you saw on the opposite end, but in this case, we're connecting two boom units to each other, flange to flange. So we're putting a continuous line out there with zero gaps in between. We have the same ANCO nuts, we have the same bolt distribution, we have our, our backing rings, but in this case, instead of having a steel end plate, you've got another boom coming along here. Depending on the site conditions, depending on the loads, depending on whether we need openings or anything else, we will, we will vary how long an individual segment will be because HDP operates uh, uh, somewhat funny on the water. Sometimes it can expand, it can contract, you get more of a sag, you get less of a sag. Don't worry about that because we know how to engineer these properly. You're gonna love the end results on this. Another thing we do with these booms is we do permanent fusion welded graphics on the booms. These things can't be scraped off peel off, it's not a painted on graphic. This is flamed into the boom and this, these graphics won't ever come off. So we can do any type of graphic on the boom that you need. In this case, we're doing a warning signal. We can put your company logo and name on it as well. That works real well. So this is our Odin Boom Series. And to summarize, it's tubular, 24 inch diameter. We can do lengths up to 40 feet. Our standards are 12 feet, 20 feet, and 40 feet. We can have a flange to flange connection, or we can have a end plate to end plate connection. So that is the Odin boom with the flange ends. But there's another version of this, and we're gonna show you here. This also is an Odin boom, but you're gonna notice something different about this. Oh my gosh, what happened to the flange? Well, this is a flat end cap. Again, we fusion weld this onto the boom, but in this case, what we're doing is we're attaching, we call this an exoskeleton. This is a steel, a series of steel rings that go around the boom, and then we can connect either into a heavy duty, heavy weight steel channel that runs along the bottom, or we can just run these rings around and connect it to chain and cable going along. We can also suspend debris screens off of these booms using our exoskeleton rings. Now, when you see a boom with this design, with the flat end cap, here's something else to know. We're gonna guarantee for the life of the boom that it will always be watertight. We guarantee it, that's another assurance. So you have two guarantees from us. One, you have a lifetime no peel, no delamination warranty, and you also have a lifetime leak-free, no separation warranty on our end caps. Um, we connect these, we have a steel channel on the bottom, when we use the steel channel, we can connect into any type of chain. I'm showing stud link chain. The reason we do that is because our stud link goes up to some really high loads, and these can be designed for really high loads. What is really unique about this design is that the booms are round, and so they're going to rotate out on the water. So sometimes you want your boom not to be rotating. You need to have it in a, in a, in a set position. Where would you might want that? Well, if you're gonna have graphics on the boom and you always want them to be facing upstream. In that case, we take the center of the gravity and we lower it by adding this weight onto the boom and it also gives us a great connection point for our debris screens. There's another feature on these booms that we have and so you might notice a, a hole going through the booms. This is an HDP pipe that we run through this. We, we fusion weld it into the boom. We have supports inside. So it's, it's a strong material. And what we do on this is we will run chain through here. And the chain allows us to connect units together. We have a special patented chain shock that goes on there, prevents your units from sliding laterally along the chain. But that allows you to string out an entire boom line without individual connections. And it allows your booms to rotate. Because sometimes you want your booms to rotate Let's say you don't want to be stopping debris, it's strictly for public safety or something, and so you want to give the booms an opportunity to rotate. So this is Odin Boom Series number two. So remember, Odin Boom flanged ends or Odin Boom flat ends with an exo ring, an exo ring with a channel, or 
chain going through and XO ring or just chain going through. My gosh, it's also confusing. Don't worry about it. We've got experts on here and here at Worthington Products and we would love to just sit down. We'll walk you through it and we'll explain how we want to do these things. Now, the last item is going to be what we call our Odin Float Series. And I'm going to show you the Odin Float. So what is Odin Float? Well, Odin Float, it's the same co-extruded material. It's our same high visibility yellow. It's the same material that has fusion welded end caps on it. It has foam fill. We have a lifetime warranty on this that the end caps will never separate. It's leak free. But Odin Float is a barrel style float. And what I mean by that is shorter segments, a uh, little fatter diameter. In this case, we're looking at a diameter that's a 36 inch diameter by four feet long. We can go up to a 48 inch diameter by let's say six feet long if you want. Typically, if you get above that, um, uh, there might be some higher loading capabilities that we need to take a look at. I mean, we can do any size obviously, but from our recommendations, we're either gonna be a 36 by 48 or a 48 by 72. So what is really unique about this? Well, you can't really see it. You saw it on the other Odin boom, is we have that same pipe going through the center of the boom, but in this case, we're running our chain through and we have this patented chain chuck on there. This is a patented device and this keeps our booms from sliding laterally along the chain, but what it really allows us to do is it allows this boom to freely rotate. So why do we want a boom to rotate? Well, this is really designed for a tail race application or below spill gates. That's where you have some really high flow, highly turbulent, highly aerated water. You need these booms, they're gonna be bouncing around and everything else. You need these booms to be able to rotate and to be able to withstand those loads. This is designed specifically for that. We also will use these above spill gates and in head ponds as a public safety boat barrier where maybe you don't want to have debris control on there. It's strictly public safety. So we'd run the same type of boom on there. We can do graphics on the booms as well, but I will caution you when you do graphics on a boom and you have a center connection and it's rotating, just know this. On some days, your graphics are going to be pointing right where you want them to point. And on other days, they may be pointing up there. They may be pointing down to the fish. There'll always be some graphics along the boom line that are pointing in the right way, but that's just a natural thing. The booms are going to rotate. So, quick summary. The Odin series is based on co-extruded HDPE. It's going to be yellow, safety yellow. We have the Odin boom part, which are long tubular floats. And then we have the Odin float part, which is a barrel style float. I hope this all makes sense to you folks. And I'll tell you what, on your next waterway barrier project, please give the experts here at Worthington Products a call. We're friendly people. We'd love to talk to you and see how we can help you on your next waterway barrier project for debris control, ice, public safety, or fish guidance. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day, and we look forward to hearing from you.